Welcome to Peak TV. I'm Nick Dagan, Executive Director of Peak Asset Management, and we've got John Reynolds, Managing Director of Bodicea, all the way from Melbourne. John, good to see you. Thank you, Nick. Welcome. John, as you know, we're big supporters. Um, tell us a little bit more about the company and what you do. Yeah, look, as you say, we're Melbourne-based. Um, we're a, uh, we've been around. We IPO'd in 2012, and we have really got some uh, exciting opportunities with um, three, you know, the prime exploration regions. Uh, we got great ground in those three target areas of Australia. Um, we're an exp exploration company, and uh, we've got a work program that we'll go through in a few minutes. That's got some exciting, exciting opportunities to come. John, um, we most—I mean, one of the largest nickel discoveries in Australian history is a company uh, called Sirius that discovered the Nova Nickel Mine. Uh, Independence Group uh, bought that out uh, in mid two thousand and I think fifteen, sixteen for uh, an undisclosed amount. You've got a land package in the Fraser Range right next door. Tell us a little bit about that opportunity in the project. We've been progressively building our opportunities in the Fraser Range, and we've now got uh, eleven tenements, exploration tenements, and um, you know, of prime target is is the Simon's Hill target, which we're right next to the Nova Nickel Mine, right? So, you know, that was bought for in excess of a billion dollars, and uh, is still operating. It's a hungry mill. It's needing new reserves, and and we've got the adjacent license, um, a long strike. And with some prime targets that IGO are exceptionally excited about. Um, in late last year, we completed a deal uh, with IGO for nine of those tenements, nine of our exploration tenements, uh, whereby we retain ownership and um, and IGO explore for an exclusive period of five years. Now that means that we get free carried, means they get to target, they get to use their expertise. They get to use their budget, which is really nice. Yeah, they've got a, over a thirty-five million dollar budget for the Fraser Range. So, yeah, and that's been enhanced by the fact that they're actively doing work now. We know that they're they're spending a significant amount of money right now on our tenements and uh, with some highly prospective grant. And and John, how, how significant is the Orient exploration uh, to IGI and yourself? Okay, so let's let's work through Orion. It's um it's an intrusion. Uh, it's what's called a conolith, which is this you know sort of wriggly worm shaped and you know uh, intrusive system, um, which is a similar feature to the Nova Nickel mine. Um, it is extending. For the IGO know it's on their side of the license, and they've recently finished a drill hole on our side of the license that has proved up that the Orion chronolith extends within our system, within our tenement boundary. It's got mineralisation. Um, we're waiting on assays now, but the interpretation of the IGA geologist is that mineralisation is improving towards us, and as we get, as we get into our licence, it's getting better and better. So, you know, this is all you know, targeting a, a more extensive programme of drilling within our licence. The significance yeah. of the line to IGO, though, let, let's, it's three and a half kilometres from Nova Nickel Mine, right? So any nickel fan there will get fed into the mill. Um, and, uh, you know, if IGO find a jork resource on our land, they have to pay us $50 million. You know, it's no ifs or buts. That they have to, you know, that's part of the agreement is that they have to pay us $50 million. And then on top of that, we get a 0.75% royalty. So, you know, it's it's a win-win deal in terms of that whole structure. Um, but Orion is their prime target, and they have done that, uh, proved that by drilling an 800-metre hole, uh, which has proved up the Orion uh, target and, and they've got commitments to do further drilling later this year. Yeah, it's, it's not often that you see uh, such a huge neighbour just go out to your land and say, look, we want to drill your tenements and uh, and pay a significant amount of, of capital to do so on success, obviously, so very, very exciting. Um, yeah. I want to talk a little bit also um, about the Patterson uh, province um, because you do also have some other projects. I know we are waiting for some assay results from, from IGO soon, and that should come shortly. But um, some really exciting tenant package in the Patterson region. Can you explain what you've got and just elaborate as well on some of the projects you've got there? Yeah, look, look, look the Fraser Range has mostly been handled by um, IGO. Um, we've got a couple of tenements in the Fraser that we're going to continually do some work on. Certainly one of them is quite exciting. Um, we're going to do some work on that shortly. But 
Our next major focus, and probably our focus, as opposed to IGO's work, is the Patterson. Um, we identified that about mid last year, that the Patterson was probably the hottest ground in Australia. And we managed to uh, pick up some ground on the east side, um, and which we've expanded to more recently with a recent announcement. We've now got over 880 square kilometres of ground within the Patterson. Um, now, the Patterson province is well known for the world class Telford deposit, you know, 32 million ounces of gold and a million tons of copper. You know, it is well and truly a world class deposit. Um, but the reason, the interesting thing about the Patterson is that it's now got Winnow, Haveron, uh, Calibre, Magnum. There's a whole series of deposits being discovered. And especially with Winu and Haveron, there's a lot of capital being spent by some majors, including Rio Tinto and uh, Newcrest. Uh, you know, they're spending over $100 million just to get some preliminary work done. So um, that's, um, that's, you know, that's why the Patterson is now the hottest property for copper gold deposits in Australia and copper gold exploration. Now, the next phase for us is that we have some excellent ground, right? We're, so we've picked up 880 kilometres. Um, and within that, we have found a dome feature. Uh, we've done some geophysics last year. We've got a dome feature. Um, now, dome features uh, is a geological you know, structural shape. And um, Telfer is, is, and most of the deposits within the Patterson are associated with dome features. So we've got a really exciting prime target that we will be testing uh, later this year and, and most of the next year. Yeah, it'd be nice for you to find another uh, Newcrest 32 oh, million uh, ounces, John. That'd be, that'd be great. I think um, we're going to have a big smile on our face, yeah. yeah. John, uh, just, just before we finish off, so, so fast forward six, 12 months, um, what, what does a company look like? I mean, very, very exciting exploration program with, within the Fraser Range. Obviously, you've got the Patterson region. I mean, what, 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 what should investors be excited of towards the end of the year and early next year? Well, I think there's three key elements, and you know, there's a few smaller ones, but the three key elements are IGO, Orion Exploration. Um, they are excited by that. Which obviously means we are. So that you know, potentially that could be well on the way to delivering the 50 million and royalty. Um, IGO will spend that money uh, to explore that and test it and hopefully find something. So that, that's number one. Number two is we've got a package of, of tenements within the Fraser Range. IGO are also going to explore plus our work. Now that's there's a number of potential opportunities. We're within range of all the other major discoveries of you know, Morton and Silver Lake, Silver Silver uh, um, Silver Knight. So you know, we're we're well and truly placed within that, and, and so there's potential there for us to grow with some nickel. And the third one is obviously Kungala. Um, you know, that, as you say, that has the potential of being a major deposit at this stage, and uh, we should be well and truly on our way to be testing that by this time next year. John, thanks very much for joining us here at PTV. My pleasure, mate.